Now, you, you're the organizer of this. That's right, yes. How'd you get, I mean, this is really probably the first alternate underground sporting event to be covered by video yes, in history. Yes, so you're, you're making history. Can you run down now? There's a distance event. Is there an accuracy event? There's an accuracy event in the children's division and, and in the adult division. Right. Uh, the, uh, there will be a $10 cash prize given for the, the most accurate uh, shot in the target throw in the women's division at a facsimile of Norman Mailer's face. Right. Is that facsimile, has it been erected yet? Uh, the, the facsimile the will, will be put out uh, in about five minutes, I think. It will. Okay. Well, we'll get back to you later. Uh, is there anything else we should know about it in, in covering this underground sporting event? But what you say really isn't a sporting event. It's really a no. This isn't a sporting event. It's it's a this is political a event. Uh, right. Exactly. Yeah. Dr. Stancil Johnson in Sacramento. And are you the world's only frisbee historian? Yeah, by default. Yeah. <laughs> right. Where did it start? Well, the probably it started around Yale of all places. There was a mother frisbee pie company that uh, had these pie tins, although there is the cookie jar in Lib School, but we'll discount that for the moment. And the pie tins, the, the Yaleys would buy the pie tins and toss them back and forth. Mm -hmm. Then a guy named Fred Morrison down in L.A. picked it up and made it out into a plastic, and then he took it to Whammo, and that was about 56, and that's been it. That's been it. Right. Uh, would you say that, that the Berkeley, San Francisco area is a center? For it's frisbee? the hotbed. A hotbed of throwing frisbee, now catching frisbees down around Laguna Beach. I see. Why the, best. why the difference? Why the difference between San Francisco and L.A.? <laughs> it has something to do with the basic <laughs> dichotomy, I think. <laughs> okay. You give us some comments later on about... I can show you the guys to watch who are the world's okay. best well, here. Can you point them out now? This fellow walking right here towards us, picking up the purple frisbee, is Steve Sewell. Steve Sewell. And he was one day, at one time, the number two man in the world, and has been the hottest thing on the, uh, the tournament scene this mm -hmm. fall, uh, this summer. The other biggie uh, is Bob May. Where's Bob? Hello. Hello. Hi, Kate. <laughs> Hi, Stephen. Um, are you going to enter the contest today? I am. Are you going to win? I'm going to do the best that I can, uh, throw the best throw I can, and I can't say I'm going to win, but I'm going to throw as hard as I can. It's hard. What does that mean? Well, the, there are, as well, it means as well as I can. As well as... In the distance contest, I'll be throwing as far as I can, and in the accuracy contest, I'll be throwing as uh, precisely as I can. Okay, these are two guys, Kate, that have uh, played <laughs> together a whole lot. <laughs> it's awful wet John out here. John is over there, right? He just threw a shot. And uh, Victor throwing right now. What, why do you think there's such a mania for Frisbee? I mean, I don't, under, I don't understand it. I see couples out in the park. I, I mean, I see... That's a good catch. That's his uh, around the back uh, backhand catch. What, what, what's the mania for this little... Well, it's prettier it's a piece to, uh, of uh, plastic. It's prettier. Well, pe you see, people like to throw balls around, right? I mean, civilization has always liked to throw balls of any kind—round balls, or footballs, or baseballs, whatnot. And a frisbee is nicer to throw than a ball because it floats and because it's uh, sort of more articulate. Like you can make it curve around more. Uh, you can control it and do things like these skip shots that these guys are doing right now. There's no parallel to that in any other ball game that I know. You want to ask me anything about frisbee? Well, uh, a while ago, Kate, you said you uh, weren't too sure that you liked the sport, that uh, you uh, always thought it was a kind of bore, and you'd never seen some good throwers throw, and I want to see if you have uh, come to like it more than you did before, from just from watching these guys throw. Uh, I'm impressed. I'm impressed with their um, throwing acumen. Uh -huh. But as I, as I told you, the reason that I haven't liked Frisbee is because no one ever asked me to play with him. And I, and I felt that that was somehow exclusive. Now. If I were really hypersensitive, I might have said that it was because I was a woman, but I've seen too many women in the game. Uh -huh. um, and uh, by the way, do you think women are good Frisbee players? Well, let me say one thing. If um, I think you are hypersensitive, Kate, and I think you should go out <laughs> and ask someone to play Frisbee with you. <laughs> and I'd like to throw some Frisbees with you after we uh, conclude this you would, uh, interview. Huh? Right. <laughs> Off the record, of course. <laughs> are you a member of the Berkeley uh, Frisbee group? Yeah. yeah, Frisbee Freaks, sure. Right, right. Do you, of course. Do you throw the Frisbee around Sproul there? Oh, yeah, lower Sunday Sproul all the time. Sometimes upper Sproul, sometimes barrels, right. baseball field, sometimes the other baseball field. Do you have any special style you do? Or oh, anything? I have many shots. I can throw behind my back, underneath my legs. Uh, could you demonstrate, discus, could you demonstrate throw, something for us? Uh, upside down. Would you demonstrate sure. a couple of Sure. See if we can find a Frisbee. She's good.
You're now. You're one of the. How does how does anyone can know that you're one of the best? I mean, uh, how, I guess uh, by style, you know, just for your performance, uh -huh. being able to throw different kinds of shots, you know, right, and do right. them accurately and consistently. Mm -hmm. uh, style's an important part of, of frisbee, then. Huh? Uh, yeah, it's a uh, it's a graceful thing, you know. It's right. a beautiful thing with two people who are playing and they can twist and, and turn, and throw frisbee behind their back. Mm -hmm. and, What's the farthest? Are you will you enter both accuracy and distance? Yes, I will. Yeah. And what's the farthest you've thrown? I've thrown a frisbee 95 yards. You haven't quite made the, the golden hundred. No. <laughs> I see. I see. Is this weather? Is your style conducive to this this heavy weather? I mean, uh, will you throw I'd low? I'd rather not play. And it, well, the wind is sort of nice because we're throwing. The wind will be behind your back, and right. that's a westerly wind. Mm -hmm. But uh, because it's so wet and uh, right. it's. Will you throw differently in this weather? Uh, no. No, I'll use my two-finger shot. Yeah. Your two-finger. Could you demonstrate your two-finger shot sure, first? Sure, i glad. Can we get a, a regulation John? frisbee over here? Could I have Just a frisbee? second. You got one right there. No, I'd rather throw that one. Uh, okay. What's the difference between the two? Well, this one is too. This one is too spongy. It's it's very cheaply made. This one. This one's got uh, a little stiffness to it. Okay. Okay. Now this is this is. What's your name again? Actually? Victor. Victor's two-finger. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Whatever. Well, I don't know. How would you like to join us? <laughs> Who do you consider to be your, your stiffest competition? Bob May. Bob May. That's yeah. the second time his name. Can you point yeah, out Bob? Yeah, sure. Uh, Bob May is... Uh, where is Bob May? No. I'm led to believe the gentleman watching right now is probably one of the best in the world. Uh, That's probably Bob true. Did, uh, with, with, uh, with typical modesty, he has admitted it. Uh, is, is, in any way, could this be called a grudge match? Well, <laughs> everyone in Berkeley has been practicing quite hard for the last two weeks. I see. To be everyone you. is horny for that $100. <laughs> you mean, so is it, this is really a professional sport. That's what it's coming down to. No, it's not a professional sport. There just happens to be money in it this time. Uh, this is the uh, world's only frisbee store and doctor something or other. I forget his name. Who's warming up now? Who, in addition to being one of the uh, better people here and throwing the frisbee, is also the world's only frisbee historian. Here he goes. That's good form. Look at that. It's a good throw. Good throw. It's out there. It's out there. It's possibly the. It's off the course. So it's possibly the longest throw yet here. There's one. If we were going for height, that one would be a winner. It's coming around. In, in, and it's the shortest throw yet. My name is Marty. Marty, and you just made a throw out there. Now, that's unlike any throw I've seen here. <laughs> what happened? What precisely happened to you out there? I think I, I threw it a different way than I was practicing, and it just tipped over in the air. I see, I see. Now, if that, the, that still qualifies. I mean, like if that should hit and roll 150 yards, you, you'd still win. When you, it doesn't disqualify. Yeah, I guess right. so. The way it looks bad, though, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, well, good luck on, your, on your next shot. We'll talk to you later, man. Okay, thanks. Okay, this is Bob May. Bob May. Looks like it may be the longest, clearly. It's tough to say. Are you about to uh, throw now? Yeah, you are. Right. Right. You feel good? You feel good? Not as good as I felt a couple of days ago. I threw oh, really? Too much. Uh, what particular throw are you going to use? Any particular style? Well, the grip is going to be, you haven't got any TV stuff, but I'm going to be using two fingers and throwing a sort of conventional uh, uh -huh. backhand grip, they call it. Will you throw all of them that way? Yeah. All three that yeah, way? Yeah, it's the only way I throw. It oh, that's Stevens. Oh, right. oh, He's out there, certainly out there with these. Good shot, Steve. How far would you estimate that, that throw was? Can you tell from here? Uh, it's about a, yeah. let's say about a 70 yard throw. 70 yard throw. This is a mediocre throw. Hey, mediocre, but it's out there with the leaders, actually, for the first yeah. round. Yeah, yeah, right. right. So that none of these are likely to be the winning throws. Oh, no, for sure, no. Uh -uh. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't know who's thrown so far. I haven't been keeping track of whether Bob... Bob May is the black one out there. It looks like maybe a second. Oh, he's using that black one. Right? Yeah, apparently. One yeah. More That's throw. a much heavier frisbee than the other frisbees they use. Now, would he use that like in a heavy frisbee for this heavy air? I mean, would that... Would that or... He uses it because he's consistent with it. Sometimes he'll, uh, he'll throw the white ones. Here's an unusual throw. He'll throw the white ones uh, farther than he throws the black one, but the black one is always about in the upper 90% 90, 90 of his oh, good see. throws. Yeah, he estimated that was about 65. 
five that he threw there. Yeah, well, it's, I wouldn't be surprised. I might be un overestimating him. Okay. It wasn't good distance at all. It should be around 80 or so or 90. He's clenching his fist. Silence in the crowd. This takes concentration. <laughs> It's going, it's going, it's going, and that I think is the winning shot. Bob, it's the moment, isn't it? Well, there's still the finals. This will get me into the finals, I hope. Uh, well, how far do you estimate this one is now? Oh, uh, 95 yards, I guess. 95, so we're still short of 100. Yeah, well, 100, 100 is a fluky shot, there. usually. I mean, yeah. no one can do 95 consistently. Mm -hmm. I can't. Now, are you going to stand here and, like, hope that everyone else misses? Or is that kind of a sport? <laughs> oh, well, I mean, I, I want to win. Uh, but if there's going to be a final, I think if there's a final where we can all throw at approximately the same time from the same line, that's that's the way to run it. That's, I mean, what, that's what you'd if like. they have the top five throwing, mm -hmm. five or but six. But just as everyone predicted, Bob May is out here in front after the second round, and how does, how does it feel? Well, it feels good. Uh, it does, and you feel closer to the $100. Yeah, and that's what I'm here for. Okay, okay. The winner of the full event is number 39, Bob May. <laughs> Frisbee is a fun thing to do. Uh, it's also got possibilities if you want to do it fanatically. Uh, like going for that long distance throw, which is my particular thing. Do you see yourself as a, a frisbee addict? Yeah, uh, in that I don't think I could stop throwing frisbee, or I don't think I'd go anywhere around uh, without a frisbee. And then if the government uh, told me that I couldn't throw frisbees anymore, I think I'd uh, do everything I could to uh, make sure that I kept a few frisbees to myself and threw them uh, in secrecy and in private. <laughs>